Hi, welcome to the Linux tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about the command rmdir, which is used for create for removing the directory. Besides that, there is another way to remove the directory, which is to use rm-r. So let's study rmdir for a while. So let's read. Let's start with the manual page. So it shows it removes directory specifically and then there is hyphen p again which is used for creating for removing the one which are inside a folder so each directory argument is treated as a path name of which all components will be removed if they are empty starting with the last most component so it will start with the with the last like last directory which is there inside a particular directory so let's study it yeah so let's let's list down what all are available so by the way this is the correct way of using cd so it's changed it is used for changing the directory and cd followed by two dots so there is a space between two dots blues shows one space yeah so let's remove try one and then for the try two so let's remove try two try three try four yeah and they are removed so we only have left with try one and try five yeah and Let's create. Let's remove. Yeah. I, I don't know if this PV is valid because PV uh, so PV wasn't mentioned in the man page, so it is not valid. So directory is not empty. So we need to remove the child first and. Alright, so let's see what we are left with. So it's removed in its entirety by using this command. So it removed each of these, which is interesting. Yeah. So if, if we will try to delete a normal file using this command then it will not work so rmdir is specifically for removing the directories not the files not the flat files um, thank you for watching the video in the in the next video we will be learning about the command rm which is used for removing any sort of files or directories